Hello, hi everyone. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create a script include. So what is it a script include? A script include is basically a class that you can create in ServiceNow. In a, as you can create a script action, a business rule, you have a specific place where you can create a script include. And there you create a class and that class will be will have naturally all the methods. Okay. If you're familiar with uh, object oriented pro programming you know obviously what is an object what are methods and what is a class so basically you're going to create a class and inside the class you have a lot of different methods and one of them all the methods they are basically functions okay and in order to use create and create a script include and use it um, we just need to turn, for example, a script into a function and then make that function as a method available for that specific class and reuse it in any script. Okay. So for example, here I have a script that I wrote for my scripted REST API. Uh, if you want to know how this script exactly works, you can, you can watch my previous video where I'm explaining step by step every single line of the code that I have written here okay briefly what is going to happen here i'm going to give a specific table name a record number and it's it's going to return me the short description the color id and as well the record number okay that is the entire script is doing and we're going to turn this as a function and use create make that function as a method for the class that we are going to create and use it right here okay so in here we won't have that much of line of codes but we'll have only two lines which is basically going to do the same job okay so let's first test if this script is working I want I would like to make sure so so you will have a little bit kind of visual understanding okay so as I said I'm gonna give the table name and the record number and in order to test the rest uh, script rest API you um, you have what we call in the related links to explore REST API. If you click on that, it will open this page. And here you will have to enter the parameters. So I have in my parameter the table name and the record number. Okay, so I want to just create. I already created. So, for example, I'm going to show you how to create a new one. You just add here, uh, sorry, table name. I'm gonna add another one, it's going to be record number, okay? Here, the table name is going to be incident. And I'm gonna specify incident 0, 0, 0, 0, like six time. So it's one that I know, an existing one, I'm gonna send the request. Have the response, the status code is 200, okay which means it's perfect i have the result here and you can see i have the record number which i have entered and the short description that's what i wanted to have the code is right here and as well the color id okay so as the script is working perfectly now i'm going to turn that this script as a function and uh, make that as a method for our script include so let's create um, a new one okay so here I'm gonna type script include okay and look for under system definition you have script includes click on that click on new and here I'm gonna give the name of my class okay which is going to be let's say E N J S. Okay, just a random name. Click on submit, and you will have immediately a template. So I'm gonna look for E N J S, and you have the template here. And you can see var E N J S equal to class dot create. So it's creating a class. The first thing, and E N J S prototype, and inside that prototype let's say this line we have all the methods and we have the initialize which is created and uh, we're gonna create a new one okay 
So initialize have a function, an empty function, okay? There is no information here. But in our case, we're gonna have the code that we have already written. But it's not simple as just copying the entire thing right here and then putting in here. You have to understand how, what are the information that you have to modify. So, okay, so the first thing, I'm gonna just create the method. Get record info, okay? And it's going to be a function, open, close brackets, open, close curly brackets, and in here, inside this function, I'm gonna have the script. So, do we need all the information? No, we do not need all the information. Do, need, do we need all the variables? No. So, here this, the parameters, I don't need them to include in my script include, in my script, in my function. What I need is the following code from here to right here. The declaration where I'm going to declare there is a glider car object, start doing the query and then I'm gonna run the while loop inside the while loop I'm gonna look for all the object get some information like the display value the short description short description and the caller ID each time is running the while loop and I put a condition if record number the one that we have entered in the beginning if you remember right here is it matching for one of the object display value? So one of my while is running the entire table, uh, while is doing the while loop, if it is found, if there is a matching, so the record number entered is matching to object that I found, which has the same record number, return that object and in the response body, okay? We're gonna uh, set response body, set body and object. That's what it's doing. But we don't need everything we just need this part so i'm going to just take this one and put it here i don't need actually the following response set body response is a variable that we have in our function process here okay it's the object we have here so we are going to create a new one okay so the new one is going to be let's say var answer And now I'm gonna put an empty okay it's going to be an empty object and I don't need to touch any part of the code just here I have to come back here and then say hey if you found a match I have already a variable created which is called answer put that thing put that object inside this variable because I want to return this later Okay, so I'm going to put obj, okay? This one will be returned. So while it's finding the match, it's going to send that information to this answer object. And in here, you have to make sure where you have to write the return. We forgot one thing. The first thing is in the parameter, we have to specify what are the information that we need to send the function so we have to send the table name and uh, rec number okay so this is the one that we are sending in the function and in here we are going to return so each function have something as an entry and is going to return a specific result which in our case is going to be what we have in the answer object. Okay, so right now I have made a syntactical error here. Great, so everything is good at this level. So I'm going to, so we have created the function and the function name is record, get record info. This is going to be the method of this class, okay? ENJS, that we can use it later. So now I'm going to just save it. Great. Um, 
we can now delete everything that we have here and uh, including this the entire part because we have all it's all written here and use the script include the script include that we have here in this script to have the same result okay so before even doing that it's better to test if what we have written here is going to work or not so otherwise you don't need to delete and then you have to rewrite uh, so to make it simple just open script background so go for a script background I'm going to type background it's going to be faster okay I have my script back. here I'm going to just write one line I'm going to say var answer is equal to new the the class that we have created enjs and open close parenthesis dot and we're going to use the method which is get record info and in the parameters we are going to specify the variable okay we are going to say what is the parameters I'm not saying table name and so on we're going to actually say incident also the record number so i'm gonna put like enc three time oh, six time zero and five and i'm gonna close this okay this entire thing if the script works if it's not returning any error message which means it's good but we are not sure if it is returning the right result for doing that we have to write for example gs gs info and uh, in here gs info will have uh, json dot what we call it? stringify string I and uh, in the parameter you're gonna put answer no four okay this is a specific syntax you don't need to worry about that this is a specific syntax uh, that return the result in a proper uh, format in the JSON so can be readable so I'm gonna test if this thing going to work or not now as you can see here it's showing me the result display value into the number short description CPU load for I for over 10 minutes and the color ID so I have the result it's working perfectly now what we have to do is just to have this line okay this is the entire line that we need so I'm gonna just copy and use it in here and we don't need to specify incident table instead we are going to do table name okay that's what we have here in the parameter and instead of giving the number we're gonna say rec number so we can enter any record number any table name give any table name to have to have the result okay so if you remember there was one line which was responsible to set the body of the response okay so I'm gonna put response set body and in the parameter I'm gonna have the answer and save it. and then this line and I'm gonna save it okay okay so as you can see here we have just two lines and all our function it's in here all our script is in here in our function record get record info 
So we can come here, change some information if you want to change, and then just use the way how we can use the script include in the in other places in ServiceNow. Okay, so let's now test if this thing is going to work or not. So we from the REST API Explorer. So I'm gonna close this one and open a new one. Okay, so I'm gonna add the table name and also rec number. And I'm going to use a raw incident. Let's view some other incident, okay. Just, I'm gonna pick another number. Now this one, let's say, I want to pick something like this one as a long short description. ENC, this one, Able Tutor. The second one, I'm gonna put it here. Let's see if it's going to work or not. So this time, we are using the scripted API, but it has inside the script include, okay? Great, it's working. It took a little bit more time, but doesn't matter, it's in millisecond. And we have our short description. I have been trying to access this app, HR application, blah, 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 and color ID, Apple Twitter, and I have also the record number that I have mentioned earlier here. So, thanks for watching. Hope you get everything how I explained, and um, yeah, this is how we can create a script include is basically uh, just a way to use uh, some other functions that you that you can write somewhere else and you can use it in another part of service now. Okay, so all you need to understand how the object oriented program programming approach. So you need to know what is a class, you need to know what is the objects, so you need to know what are methods. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye.